see it's getting warm in here. Guys, I pretty much, I, I mowed the lawn because I wanted to let the paint dry on the bars. Uh, yes, I went ahead and painted them. It's not the best. I didn't want to paint the top just yet because I still got to weld the top. But everything else, these bars are painted there. I was going to paint the whole engine bay. I'm pretty sure that white is not the same as that white, but it's like, it doesn't look bad. I know white is not white. There's so many different whites. There's pearl white, metallic white. Obviously, this is performance white. Um, I know that's not the same. I'm just saying. So pretty much now all I got to do is move the ABS, move the actual harness. Um, we'll probably go ahead and clean up the harness just a little bit more and make it look all fancy and whatnot. And then go ahead and bend the AC line back into place. This thing ready to go in. This thing is just chilling here. Looking mean. I need the space. This thing needs to go in. No, it is not going to be the last time it goes in because this whole car is going to be painted a different color. I don't like white. Obviously, I got a red. I got a red one. I got a black one over there in that area. Obviously, we're gonna do something else. Um, but right now, let's get this engine bay cleaned up a little bit more, and then let's get this engine put in the old Chevy. We got one bolt in, we got another bolt in. Will these guys be enough to hold up this very, very expensive engine and transmission? Cross your fingers, leave a like right now. If you believe they're gonna hold, please smash that thumbs up button, guys. So dilemma, I think these Dynotech headers are gonna hit, um, plus I don't have a good enough angle to drop straight down, so what I'm gonna have to do is try to tilt this thing backwards like that to get these things down. But first, the uh, long tube's gotta come off for me to do this. If I wanted to do it the right way, obviously you drop the, uh, the cross member um, and then slide it through the bottom. We're not doing it, we're gonna do it from the top. It seems easier as of right now. After about one and a half aggravating hours, and I mean aggravating, because Ford just stupid, okay? I said it. This is why we LS swap stuff in this household. After a few cranky episodes of exploding in, uh, well, this ain't gonna fit attitude, um, it's not in there fully. It's technically sitting on top of the mount, and not actually inside the mount. Uh, so what I plan on doing, uh, leaving it here for, oh, maybe a year or so, you know, just give me some time on it. Uh, no, but honestly, we'll pull this thing back out, we'll pull the, the whole uh, K-member out, drop the suspension and whatnot, and do this whole thing from the bottom. Um, that way, at least we can see everything, because this is a nightmare and a half. I had to unhook one side of the cross member, drop it down, take the strut out, down. This side loosened down, the rear control arm bolt down. Uh, had to unhook the steering. It, yeah, it was not fun. This is a nightmare. This is not the correct way to do it. And then obviously, I wanted to see if it'll work, and obviously, it's not. Um, you know, a few little crybaby episodes later, and well, we're here. But the Shelby technically has its 5.4 back in it. Um, it's a little slanted. Like I said, these things are not sitting in the mounts. And who wants to work on this thing? Look, you can't work on this, man. There's no room for anything. Like, the whole back half is just swallowed up by stuff. I mean, on this one, it's like there's so much room for your hand to actually go around. I mean, who was working on these things? I mean, no, no, no actual Americans working on this thing. <sighs> this is why we don't why we don't have Ford engines in our stuff. This is just exactly why. Like I said, it's in there. It's sitting pretty. It's just stupid. Had to unhook the shifter. Okay, uh, that's another thing that's uh, a little annoying, uh, but we'll put it back on when we pull it back out. Um, if it's sitting like this and the car just comes straight down, we should be good to go. Last little part of this video, by the way, uh, we are gonna be installing some new headlights since we're here. Um, these things are the stock ugly ones uh, that nobody cares for, nobody likes. Um, you know, everybody's gonna go to this style that I bought. All right, here, if I can get these things out. You guys already know, it's the Euro style. The clear with the black housings, looking fresh. Just look at that right there to there. It's gonna look super, super well. And these things are super easy to install. See, look how easy this is. Pop your hood, take one out, take the other one out. And this bad boy literally just kinda comes right out. Look at that. Here you go, Merry Thanks. Christmas. Thanks, I love it. That's a terrible gift. Huh? That's a terrible gift, you know that? Well, it's better than the one I have, it's cleaner. Hey, you wanna put those on, Stead? Yep. Oh, my Lana. No, I'm ordering new ones. 
order a new ones, I would order a new ones. Those things are garbage. We just slide these in. They came to the pins. Slide one in, slide the other into place. And bam, one side's done. See, they're so easy to install, your girlfriend can even do it. See that? Look at this, fellas. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Oh, oh, there you go. Just like that. Look at how easy of an install that is. See, you're a mechanic. You can do anything. Anything. You put your mind to it, you can do it. Gotta get that final money shot. Here we go. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, my Lena, that's looking good. We get it all cleaned up. Cause there's like a so much dirt and stuff on it. Uh, don't worry about it. She'll be clean here shortly because I'm just gonna finish this one first. Cause the Shelby stupid. I swear, don't you dare touch that with that. That is that is like a zero grit sandpaper right there. But yeah, that literally is not fun. Don't recommend to anybody putting in a 5.4 into a Shelby. Okay, put a six liter in in your new Edge Mustang. A, it's cheaper. B, it's cooler. And three, you can go a lot faster. Okay, for a lot less money. Okay. But garage is cleaned up a little bit better. Got the, the Shelby GT500 bumper chilling. Got the S550 Roush Stage 3 interior chilling over there. Obviously, got the engine put in. So now I can technically move this outside, move this outside, and just have a garage again, guys. Because I have not been able to work in here efficiently at all. I need a lift. Uh, so if anybody out there wants to sponsor me on a lift, you, your boy needs it, or even a quick jack, okay? I just need something, because these, the jacks and, and whatnot, the jack and jack stand combo is not, it's not fun anymore, okay? Um, it's never been fun. I don't know who ever wants to do that in their life. If you guys like this video, drop a like, subscribe if you guys are new, and well, we'll see you in the next one. Peace out.